getting you uh, placements on television, you know, so, you know, when you watch Canadian television and some American television, um, getting my clients on television, getting them on radio, so commercial radio, right, private radio, also public radio. Um, we also get them as many newspapers and magazines as we can, right, so that when people are picking up newspapers and magazines, they can read about your art. And then there's a whole, we have a whole digital strategy, which involves, you know, you put out a song, we're going to get you uh, placed on a bunch of great websites, a bunch of great blogs, and also doing interviews with podcasts, great podcasts, like, you know, really like yours, like podcasts and stuff, right? So, so that's what we do. So we have a sort of multi-tiered approach um, to getting our artists work out there. So if you're a rapper, you're a singer, songwriter, and you have this great piece of art, it's a single, and you want the world to know more about the single, why they should mess with it, why they should stream it. Uh, we're going to get you, um, you know, we don't guarantee, we don't like guarantee and say, hey, every artist, we're going to get you doing all these big television shows, big radio shows, get you on the cover of newspapers, magazines, or on blogs. But uh, but we do our darndest. You know, I have a lot of strong, uh, super strong relationships in the industry, and I'm able to get my clients for, the, you know, by and large, great placements. And then that drives people to go stream their music and buy their merchandise and buy concert tickets, you know, when society opens back up again. So that's how it goes. Or, or, the, or the, here's the anecdote I'll share with you. I mean, if you you can apply PR to anything in your life, never mind the arts and entertainment and, and sports industries. But um, if you're doing something really great, um, like let's say you have the best podcast or the best you know, show, uh, best Instagram live, best co- podcast in Canada, you know, but then nobody knows about it. Like what? It doesn't even matter that it's the best. You know, you people, you need to get it out there, get it into the media so people know that it exists and then they can see just how great it is. Right. So yeah. you can be closet podcaster and nobody knows what the hell you're doing. Or you can be like, I need a PR strategy so people can actually tune in, get my numbers up, get my socials up, 